elevators must be up these stairs. Ooh, I don't think I want to try to get past headmistress while she's on the job. I better shut her down first. Where have they hidden her controls? The elevator shuttered. Could you open it? I'm so sorry. I'm in a bit of a jam. Would you mind asking one of my colleagues? <clears throat> Excuse me, miss. Could you turn on the elevator? I'm terribly sorry. I'm very busy. Why don't you ask at another window? I need to get upstairs to see the executive committee. They're busy too, I should think. Why don't you ask somebody else? Please step away immediately. Where do I turn on the bloody power to the elevator? this in the end. Did I get here? Did you go and see Sally Boyle? I can't have. She's, she's in the village. Or she came to you. It doesn't matter. She comes by. What, why does she come by? Do we trade? What did you buy from her? Oh, my, my memory's more than usually fuzzy. Did you take something she gave you? I was sad. I was sad, wasn't I? I, I and, and ashamed. I can still feel it. I just don't know why. You bought something from her, didn't you? Why? It was a sad. What have I got to be ashamed of? Margaret, don't look at me like that. Can't help it if I don't remember. See you later. Yeah. Ah, 
There we go. And up I go. What the hell happened here? Food production. Good Christ, it's all going down the crapper. You don't have to talk like that. Who's in charge here? You're in luck. It's me today. We rotate the dread responsibility. Do I know you? So, there's only one of you who doesn't take joy on a day. <laughs> I might have had a little. The tanks in the military camp. Did you know they made a papier mache? Oh, that's terrible. Would you like a joy? Have you been getting out into the village lately? People are getting a bit slim. And these charts, are we running out of food? Oh, no, don't look at the charts. They're horrible. Here, let me get you another joy. We've got our own booth. There, the executive committee. So you people are in charge of the whole shebang? That's us. Ever since the victory. What's wrong with the tanks? You know what? I've forgotten. Oh, good. Well, come back if you remember, but with any luck, you won't. <laughs> you see, you. we have to tell people. They need to make a new executive committee. <laughs> Absolutely. If they won't heed the loony from the garden district, they're sure to hearken to the dead girl in his head. They'd listen to Uncle Jack. You know what that man did. Everyone listens to him. All day long. I can't stand his smirking face. Ollie. You're right. You're always right. 
But it's not going to be pretty. If we go upstairs, we're going to make him tell the truth about bloody everything. Hello? Yoo -hoo. Hello? Here's Ollie. Hello? Time to pay the piper, Jack. Where is he? Good Christ! He's gone off! He can't have gone off! I've got things to tell you, Jack! It's his last show. How'd you ken that? The camera's smashed. They couldn't have shot another. Play it. No, I can't leave here until everyone knows the truth. Let's see what Jack has to say for himself. Hmm. I'm sure I had it right here. Uh, you know, there are times you can actually take a little too much joy and... Um, well, then you can't remember where anything is, can you? Ah, yes. Hmm. Here it is. Um, Mrs. Florence Gilbert of Brougham Hayes is holding an exhibition of her hand-knit dolls. Oh, she likes to make dolls from all over the world, all knitted in wool. It's his last you show. How'd you ken that? The, the camera's dolls. smashed. They couldn't have shot another. Do you know who'd have liked that? Margaret, eh? Why is he talking about you? Who's Margaret? Because hmm? I love dolls. <laughs> what am I talking about? Who cares about the past? Well, listen, do drop by to see these fabulous dolls of Mrs. Florence Gilbert's. Poor thing. Poor thing? She loved dolls, you know. She had dozens of them from all over. I can assure you that there's absolutely no truth to the silly rumor that the food is running out. How does he know about your dolls? However, it is true. There's a brand new flavor of joy. You think a child of your daughter would be over dolls? His daughter? Yes, Ollie. But she'd make these darling little costumes. I knew it was wrong. I, I mean, God, she was even excited about going to Germany. It was me. Imagine living without it, so. So I hid her. And someone tipped them off. And she ran. No, that's not right. It was Jack what turned you in, and I what tried to save you. No, Ollie, you turned me in. I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. But you were my daughter. Jack Worthing. Margaret I mean it. Worthing. You're Ollie Starkey. Oh, I couldn't have. I could never have betrayed you. Oops, You're my... Neighbour. I was your neighbour. Oh, how Just could I? How could I do a thing like that to a little girl? Dear God. Dear God, 
I'm sorry, Margaret. I never meant to hurt you. Well, it's a bit late for an apology. Well, what can I do? Tell me. Do you hear me? We've come to the end of our time. The food's run out. We're all going to starve to death. You have to stop taking your joy. Take it from Jack Worthy. That's me. People have to know. But Jack's your father. Stop. That Jack's gone. That the food's run out. Oh, have to stop. That they have to stop. stop taking the joy. Stop it. You have to broadcast the tape. Right, right, I could do that. But you won't, will you? God. God, I never meant to hurt you, Margaret. I'm sorry. Away. They've cut the power, the bastards! There's an emergency, one of those wheelie power thingy-mobs. will meet in hell. Ollie! Right. Someone's right. coming through the power! Still, you bastard. I'm afraid we come to the end of our time. Do you hear me? We've come to the end of our time. The food's run out. We're all going to starve to death. You We're have to stop taking power. your joy. Take it from Jack Worthy. It's me. You won't, will you? You won't. I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time.
I guess walking out the front door is out of the question. Good thing I made you get that float. What do we do now? We say goodbye. To who? I'm not really your daughter. I know that. And I'm not really here. But... I'm a lie too. We've been together so many years. You don't think having an invisible friend is a wee bit babyish for a man who's been to war? We can hide in the train station till it all blows over. Now that you've put all that on the telly, I think it's time you put away childish things. You're right. You're always right. Goodbye, Margaret. Hey! You bastards! Look up! It's Ollie Starkey! Wake up, you damn sheep! I never liked you! Or you! That's right, you as well, pal! It's not a lovely day for it! It's a fucking terrible day for it! Lovely day for fucking war anyway! Fuck the law, you bastards! I'm going home! All right, sir. I'd forgotten just how heinous a person I am. Well, the truth is not for everyone, sir. You see, some people find they are stronger than they ever supposed. And some people can let go of the confabulations that have comforted them. And some make choices that surprise even themselves. The booze run out. You have to stop digging your joy. Perhaps these people are not you. Are you sure you don't wish to forget? And go back? I was happy before. Wasn't I? Are you really a constable? I patrol the boundaries. Come on, sir. Once you're out there, you'll know what to do. 